Well, Amy, we're back for the second video. And, we are, Andrew. Uh, what are we going to be talking about this time? Well, it's all great to love solar and want to do it, but you got to figure out how to pay for it, how to finance it. Um, is it even a good value? And so we're going to talk to a couple really great experts, um, one from a bank and one from our state Department of Environmental Quality. Let's go. Great. Yeah. And I think this is going to be really interesting. You know, the cost of solar has dropped 70% since 2010, which is phenomenal. So now is a great time to buy. And Let's talk to some professionals about how you can do that. Hey, Paul. Hey, Abby. Tell us about who you are. I'm Paul Herendine. I'm the Director of Impact Market Development at Missoula Federal Credit Union, which means I work on our social impact mission, including our work in energy efficiency and renewable energy. Awesome. So I learned that Montana is a great state for solar energy. Uh, I'm really passionate about clean energy and reducing my carbon footprint, but I'm just a little confused about the financial side of things. Is solar a good investment? It certainly can be. Uh, solar prices today have uh, gotten low enough that an investment in home solar has a similar return to things like long-term treasury bonds and the long-term performance of the stock market. Uh, as an example, I ran an analysis with just some average numbers from the area, and I found that the rate of return was about just under 7%, and the system would pay for itself within about 12 years. Now, that said, everybody's situation is a little bit different, so it's important to look at the details of your own and to decide for yourself if the risk and potential return is worth it for you. And to help people think about that, we actually published a report uh, on how to think about the financial analysis of home solar, which has a lot more detail in it. That's awesome. Uh, and we'll have a link to that report on this website. So I've got another solar expert with me. Hey, Ben. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Tell us about yourself. I'm Ben Brower. I uh, work at the State Energy Office with the Montana Department of Environmental Quality. and I manage the Alternative Energy Loan Program, which we'll get to in a bit. Sounds good. So Ben, I've heard that there are tax credits available for solar. Yeah, there's a couple to look into. Uh, first of all, there's the federal 30% solar investment tax credit, and that's a really key piece of financing most of the residential and commercial solar projects that are built these days. Uh, eligible taxpayers can claim um, up to 30% of the installation cost on their mm -hmm. solar um, investment on their federal tax return. The second uh, credit to look into is the, the state alternative energy systems credit. Uh, Montana individual taxpayers can claim um, up to $500 individually or $1,000 as a couple um, against the costs of installing a solar system or other uh, renewable energy technology. Cool. So I have heard a little bit about the federal, the federal credit going away. Yeah, the, the federal tax credit, unless it's renewed, um, will step down starting in the year 2020 and then fully sunset by the year 2022. So now's a good time to act. I would also add that it's important for folks to check with a tax professional to ensure that they're eligible for these tax credits. That all sounds smart. So it sounds like there's tax credits potentially available and now is a good time to take advantage. Uh, so say I can't pay for solar outright. Are there loan options? What do I do? Sure, there are a couple of good uh, low interest loan options available to, to help um, potentially. Uh, first off is the, the state's alternative energy revolving loan program, which I mentioned earlier, uh, managed by the Department of Environmental Quality. Um, the, the program offers uh, zero down low interest loans to individuals and businesses across the state for the installation of solar projects and other renewable technologies. Um, right now our interest rates fixed at three and a half percent. You can find more details at our website. Um, and then it's also it's worth um, shopping around a bit with your local bank or credit union if you're in the, in the market for a solar loan. Um, at least one local lender, the Missoula Federal Credit Union, um, provides loans specifically geared towards solar. So Andrew, we just learned a lot about going solar. It's, it's not that hard. And we've got great sun. Uh, yeah, what did you take away from all that? You know, I think the big takeaway was that it is really easy to go solar. Um, the process is pretty straightforward. You can go, you can make it more complicated if you want to and look into more information and more detailed information, but the process really is straightforward. And um, we have more re great resources on our website that walks people through everything that we talked about in these two videos, and I hope that they will check those out. Yeah, and I think, you know, the more people that go solar, the more they realize that this is just an incredible resource. We've got the sun up every day, and we've got sure. some sunshine coming up throughout the year. Solar doesn't spill like some of our other uh, energy sources, 
Um, it just it makes a lot of good sense. Not everybody can afford to, but I think we also have opportunities through these websites to learn how to be advocates for solar. And That's right. if you can't afford one of these panels or it doesn't work, um, there's always solar lanterns.